What's up guys, Anbuf here and a lot of you guys wanted me to do a color grading slash color correction tutorial and how I color grade my videos in Premiere Pro. With that being said, today's video is all about that. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so now we are in Premiere Pro and I'm using CC 2017 just in case you guys wanted to know. So over here I have uh, two random stock footages that I downloaded and we're going to be grading each of them and I'm going to take you guys through my entire workflow or what exactly I do to get the kind of look that I want. So without any further ado, let's just get started. Uh, this is the first footage. It's essentially a drone footage as you guys can see and it's really high quality it's 4k uhd and uh, it looks really good on its own but we're gonna do a little bit of color correction as well as grading on it and uh, yeah let's do it so the first thing that i'm gonna do is take the video clip and grab it onto my timeline now it's on my timeline and i've set uh, the resolution to one by fourth since uh, you guys won't get that edgy sharpie effect while looking at it from your phones or screens so right now you can see this is the footage so the first thing that I do while color correcting or anything in general is create an adjustment layer. Now an adjustment layer needs to be of the same size as your video and of the same uh, frame rate. So just hit on, so what we're gonna do is right click on our footage, click on new item and go to adjustment layer and hit OK. Now then you want to drag the adjustment layer to the timeline on the top of your video footage. Now essentially the main reason why I do this is because the stock footage is untouched so whatever corrections we do is actually on the adjustment layer and we can adjust it as per our needs so the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the color tab now if you guys don't see the color tab on top like i do what you want to do is go over to window workspace and then go into color now this is the color tab as you guys can see and essentially what we're gonna do here is uh, use the Lumetri color tab to color correct each of the aspects as well as color grade it. Okay, so right now we are at the Lumetri color tab and essentially what happens over here is you can adjust the temperature. Now the temperature tells you how bluish or orangey your footage is gonna be. So if I drag it to the left, it becomes more bluish and if I drag it to the right, it becomes more warm in nature. So whichever look you're going for totally depends upon you. For me, I'm just gonna do a bit towards the bluish side minus 4.3 seems good then you can adjust the tint but i don't usually touch this since this is pretty much okay with me next we come to the tone section where you can adjust the exposure contrast highlights and others now if your footage is too dark or is too bright you could fix it a bit here but it's not that reliable so just leave this untouched uh, that's what i do we'll just uh, i mean it's, it's fine it's fine and then we go to the contrast now the contrast essentially obviously increases or decreases the contrast in your footage again it's something to play around with and it's gonna depend from clip to clip as well as your style that you go for for me i like things very contrasty so we're gonna increase this to about 15 notches then we have the highlights you could either increase the highlights and or decrease it for a much uh, you know darker look but what I'm gonna do is increase the highlights by a moderate amount again 15.2 seems great then we have the shadows you can either completely blow out the shadows or you can make it much dark again you want to find a neutral point and stick it stick to it and it's totally gonna depend on your footage so just play around with both of them and uh, once you find that perfect spot just stick to it for me this lo looks great now the whites and blacks now the blacks can be really deep if you want them to or you can just you know not be black at all and what we're gonna do is just decrease it by I say 10 because it gives you that nice black look and the whites you you could increase or decrease them now I generally increase them and again 18 looks great now as you can see we'll just uh, do a quick uh, see-through like for example let me just turn the adjustment layer off this was our previous footage and now when we turn it on this is our color corrected footage now this is basically what you want to do in the basic correction tab there's not really much to do here and you can just play around with a few settings now we're moving to color grading or actually making our footage look a certain way so in the creative tab we're going to come to the look part later but we go to the adjustments now and you've got something called the faded film now the faded film uh, puts this light layer on top of your footage which could be useful in some cases but i usually don't touch it it takes all the contrast from your footage and like 
does not make it look that good according to me then you've got sharpness vibrance and saturation now sharpness obviously makes your footage more sharp if you want it to look that way but for me i basically don't touch these things you can also add a shadow tint to your footage if you want to but again it's totally your personal preference and i don't like to play around with these things the good thing that i like to play around here with is called the creative now you'll find a section called look and once you click on it you'll find so many different presets that are pre-built in adobe premiere pro and you can select a lot of them over here so what we're going to do is go through a few of them and you guys can see which one you like and preview it in the small box here and if you want it just click on it once and it will be applied to your footage now especially for you guys i've inputted a lot you can download it for free with the link in the description below now a lot is essentially a footage that is created by somebody now i downloaded this for free somewhere and it has the famous teal and orange look so it's called this teal and orange basic and this is how you import it into your footage once you download it from the link in the description go to the look click on browse and from here you can select the teal and orange basic to wherever you've saved it as i have a separate folder so it's much easier for me so double click on it and this is essentially the lot now do keep in mind this is way overblown and it looks way unrealistic and cartoonish so over here you have the intensity tab and you can reduce it all the way to unless it looks normal for me around 30 ish would be okay now another way to do this is select the adjustment layer go into effects then go to opacity and reduce the opacity that way but if you want to do it directly in the color correction place you can just play around with the intensity and wow 200 percent just looks bizarre so we're gonna stick to 30 and i think we're pretty much done next up we have curves and uh, color wheels now these sections are uh, usually i don't use them but if you know how to do them how to play around with curves and you know apply the s curve now basically it's the highlights and the undertone so if you just want to play around with them you can and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool thing to do but then again basic color correction should not involve more than the creative and the basic correction look now just for a quick walk through let's just see with and without our color correction so this was the normal footage in fact let's just play it for a while so this was our normal footage that was completely ungraded and shot from the camera whereas this is the graded footage. The water is much more teal in nature and the sand also looks absolutely amazing. And essentially this is what I do for every footage of mine. Obviously I add the cinematic bars so what I do is go to D, YouTube, PNGs and add the black bars that is the cinematic bars that I do. Apply it over your adjustment layer so that the black bars don't get influenced as well. And since it is a well 4K footage and these are just 1080p, we're gonna have to increase them. So what we're gonna do is go to effects and then go to scale and increase that until it matches our footage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my color correction walkthrough. Let's just play it back and see how it looks. that's pretty much it if you guys did like the video you guys know what to do leave a like subscribe to the channel hope you guys will enjoy the free lot as well the link will be in the description below it's totally free there's a drive link go ahead and download it and use it in premiere or any other software with that being said this is Anbuff signing out i'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day peace out